God's plan for humanity PT3 What can the redeemed look forward to? Through Christ, the redeemed of Christ can anticipate a blessed eternity in on the new earth and the heavenly abode of our Creator. Revelation 3.12 All who are victorious will become pillars in the temple of my God, and they will never have to leave it. And I will write on them the name of my God, and they will be citizens in the city of my God the new Jerusalem the victor is Jesus and the victorious are those who are victorious by their faith in Christ, his propitiation, and his mind renewing Holy Spirit, the one that teaches us to say no to sin. Titus 2.12 Revelation 22,1-6 reveals God's ultimate plan for humanity. Then he showed me the river of living water, sparkling like crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the broad street of the city. The tree of life was on both sides of the river, bearing twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree are for healing the nations, and there will no longer be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his slaves will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. Night will no longer exist, and people will not need lamplight or sunlight, because the Lord God will give them light. And they will reign forever and ever. Then he said to me, These words are faithful and true. And the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has sent his angel to show his slaves what must quickly take place. Moving ahead to Revelation 21 22-27, God's word shares his ultimate plan for redeemed humanity's eternal abode. I did not see a sanctuary in it, because the Lord God the Almighty and the Lamb are its sanctuary 23 The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, because God's glory illuminates it, and its lamp is the Lamb 24 The nations will walk in its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it 25 each day its gates will never close because it will never be night there 26 they will bring the glory and honor of the nations into it 27 nothing profane will ever enter it no one who does what is vile or false but only those written in the lamb's book of life concerning the citizens of the new jerusalem two passages come to mind in this the christian can have confidence in god knowing that his ways are above our ways Isaiah 55 8-9 For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and your ways are not my ways. This is the Lord's declaration. 9 For as heaven is higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. We are currently in God's earthly boot camp that is preparing us for the whole enchilada of the new Jerusalem. Have faith in God's promises Galatians 3 11. The righteous will live by faith.